hi guys so welcome to a new video so today i'm going to be doing a spontaneous 24 readathon 24 24 hour readathon and i'm doing this with m from a perfect paperback so i'll have her channel linked down below um so this is just like a super spontaneous one i did a 24 hour readathon at the weekend with my patrons and it didn't really work out very well i did start filming a vlog for that but then kind of gave up and i have included that in my weekly reading vlog that will be going up soon either before or after this one i'm not too sure which will be first i thought i'd film a separate little reading vlog for this one because i'm planning to do a lot of reading and i'm very very excited about it so i think i roughly know oh that's awkward please don't drive right in front oh okay never mind <laughs> okay oh <laughs> so i've moved the camera because the one of the guys just turned up on a golf cart to do something to one of the hot tubs so that was really awkward because he was literally right next to the window um but yeah basically i kind of know what i'm reading loosely but i need to go and grab the book so i can show you them um but yeah i'm really excited because i'm definitely feeling in the reading mood so far since i came here for those of you who don't know i'm currently on a week-long trip with my family to like this little like lake resort place uh, since i got here i've finished i think either two or three ebooks so far which were all in the mindfuck series by st abby which is so good like highly recommend that series not even for the romance because i honestly couldn't care less about the romance which is a very rare occurrence for me but the plot is just so good so yeah i started the fourth book yesterday so i plan to read that and then i also want to read the fifth book as well in the series so they're both ebooks and they're both over 100 pages each so they're not too long so i feel like that's doable and then i think i'm gonna read some poetry some manga and some graphic novels just as like easy ones to squeeze in and then i want to read some of house of sky and breath i think and then i think i'm gonna be reading a good girl's guide to murder because M's also reading that so i think i'm gonna do a sort of like buddy read which will be really really fun um so yes i think that's gonna be my reading plans for the most part i will go and grab the books in a moment to show you Sorry if you're like wobbling, I've got you on the bed and it keeps moving. <laughs> um, but yes, anyways, welcome to a new reading vlog and I'm excited. So yeah, I will go and grab the books and then come back and talk about them and what they're about. Oh, here's a golf cart again, I think, coming fast. Yeah, I will go and grab the books and show you guys them and talk about them. Oh, that's so awkward. Why do people keep driving past the window? <laughs> Okay. okay, so I've got my TBR, which is this big stack here. So I will just quickly go through it and then some other things as well. So I have A Good Girl's a Guide to Murder, which, like I said, I'm planning to read with M. Um, so I can't remember a lot about this book. I just know that this is like a YA thriller. And essentially there's this girl who has to do some kind of project in school and a few years prior there was like a murder or something and someone was put away for it and she believes they were wrongly convicted and they weren't the ones who did it and it was someone else in their town so she decides she's going to investigate it and find out who the real killer is and there's a lot of people who obviously kind of don't want this known and kind of like a conspiracy across this town so yeah i'm very excited this is a trilogy i bring the second book with me as well um which is good girl bad blood so i don't know if i will maybe end up reading this during this readathon if i get super hooked on this one i don't know for sure if i'll even read this whole book i honestly don't know this one is just over 300 well it's not just over it's just under 400 pages in the hardback format so yeah hopefully i can get to this one and i'm very very excited because reading the mindbook series has definitely got me in the mood for like a thriller um so yeah i am going to also read those two ebooks hopefully as well then i do have some poetry and manga and graphic novels here so i definitely want to try and read all of these if i can so the first manga i have is she and her cat and this is by the same author of five centimeters per second which i read during my like new year reading vlog i think which i will link up here if you guys want to go and watch that i really really enjoyed that um, and i'm really excited for this one because it just looks really cute it has a cat in it so it's definitely going to be good and it basically just follows a woman who lives alone with her cat and kind of like her day-to-day -day life like going through like adulthood and things like that i just think it's going to be a really really good little manga so i'm really excited to read this one then i have this graphic novel here which everyone's an alien when you're an alien too and this is by a jomney son i think and i saw this on my friend chloe's channel um books with chloe 
um and she shared like a quote from it or something and it just sounded so good so i bought it and i'm really excited to read it now and i just think it will be like an obviously a quick and fun little read and yeah i'm excited to give this a read and then i have two poetry books so i have wild embers by nikita gill i've read one of nikita gill's other books which was um i think fierce fairy tales i read that during the 24 hour readathon like the start of the 2020 lockdown and i loved it um so i'm really excited to read this one this says poems of rebellion fire and beauty and this is kind of like um rewriting kind of feminist fairy tales and heroines goddesses and things like that and it just sounds amazing i'm really, really excited i like to read poetry books whenever i do a 24 hour readathon because they're just nice reads to break up like novels and things like that so i'm really excited to hopefully get to this one and then i have this one which is flower crowns and fearsome things by amanda lovelace i've never read anything by amanda lovelace before but my friend kat told me i had to get this because it is persephone poetry which i absolutely love because i love anything to do with persephone and she read this and enjoyed it as well and it just looks so stunning inside so i'm really excited to get to this one then i have this graphic novel which is moonstruck volume one um magic to brew and this one says it's monsters romance and magical hijinks oh my um so yeah it's just supposed to be like a really cute magical little graphic novel and i had this recommended to me like ages ago because of how much i love heartstopper people say that this one has the same kind of cozy warm and fuzzy vibe that heartstopper does so really, really excited to read this one and then i do have obviously house of sky and breath by sarah j mass on my tbr i did briefly start this a few days ago when it got released i'm 36 pages in but i haven't read any more since because i want to give this my undivided attention when i read it and because i've been so busy and i've come with my family i have not had the chance to do that yet so i am filming a reading vlog for this book i don't know yet if it's spoiler filled or spoiler free i'm not too sure what it's going to turn out like but i might read some of this during the readathon but i don't know for sure because like i said i kind of just want to sit and like read this on its own for a long period of time so i'm not too sure but maybe i will read a little bit of this obviously not the whole book but maybe like some of it we'll see and then the last book i'm going to mention is this one here so if I manage to finish like a good girl's guide to murder and all like the graphic novels and things like that and I fancy reading like just like a straight up romance book then I will definitely be reading The Mistake by Ellie Kennedy which is the second book in the off-campus series. So I read The Deal last year, absolutely loved it and I recently read Good Girl Complex by Ellie Kennedy and I love that as well. I just really like her writing, it's just very easy to read. This one is really short too so if I feel like it then I will pick this one up. Um, this is just kind of like an easy romance and yeah that's kind of my gigantic TBR. Very optimistic as usual, we'll see. Hopefully I actually read during this readathon but yeah very very excited and it should be a lot of fun. Um, super last minute but usually the last minute readathons are like the funnest ones so I'm excited to get some reading done with them. I don't think I'll be going out today but if I end up going out anywhere I will definitely bring you guys along with me and show you guys what I do but I think for now we're gonna have to start with iced coffee and maybe I think an ebook or maybe the manga first I'm not too sure but yeah I'm excited so I'll update you guys in a bit once I've actually read something <laughs>
so I finished my first book of the readathon so I finished the manga which is she and her cat and I gave it three stars I really really like this it's quite fun as well because it's told from the perspective of the woman's cat as well which I thought was quite cool um, and it was just like a nice kind of graphic novel about like kind of mundane life and going through like the motions of adulthood um, and yeah I just really enjoyed it it was just like a nice graphic novel um, so yeah I've, not graphic novel <laughs> it was just a nice manga is what I meant to say um, but yeah I finished this one gave it three stars I think now I'm going to read one of the graphic novels which is um, the one about being an alien or something and then I'm going to read that next and just keep easing into the readathon with like just the easier reads before I start reading like a novel. But yeah, I think me and Emma are gonna start a good girl's guide to murder either later today or maybe tomorrow. She's reading another book for now, so I'm not starting that just yet. So yeah, I think I'm gonna read another graphic novel, then maybe some poetry and then maybe an ebook, but I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, for now I'm just gonna sit and read the graphic novel.
so just a little reading update so i just finished reading uh, this poetry book which is the flower crown and first and things book by amanda lovelace and i absolutely love this i've given it four stars so many relatable and empowering poems in here like this is just a poetry book of like femininity and like being a woman today like I don't know, I just thought this was so empowering. I loved it. Um, there's a lot of different topics covered in here as well. And I just really liked how, like, simply put some of the topics were. Sorry about the lighting. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. It was just so good. And some of these poems are just so beautiful. And I just adored them. Like, yeah, absolutely loved it. Um, so, I've now finished three books. So, a poetry book, a manga, and a graphic novel. I did finish this one. I don't know if I updated you guys. I gave this five stars. This was so freaking good. It manages to be, like, adorable, philosophical, inspiring, motivational, and silly all at once. And I don't know how it does that, but it does it so freaking well. I just really enjoyed this. There are just so many cool like metaphors in here, so many things to relate to, so many beautiful phrases and quotes. And I just really, really enjoyed this. I'm so glad I found out about this because of Chloe. And yeah, I will definitely reread this because I don't know, I just feel like it's a good like life motivator. Um so yeah, I finished these three so far so i've started off like quite nice and easy um so i think now i'm gonna make some lunch um i'm actually really cold from sitting outside by the water because it is still a bit stormy like the storm's passed but it's still like cold and a little bit breezy um there is another storm supposed to hit the uk though in the next day or two so i don't know if it's gonna hit where we're staying hopefully not but the weather is actually really nice today it's like blue skies a little bit of cloud a little bit sunny um so it is really really nice and i'm trying to sit outside and appreciate it while it lasts um but i am really really cold my nose won't stop running <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go and make some noodles i think for my lunch and then i think i'm gonna finish my ebook i was like 50 percent of the way through um i don't know where my kindle is my kindle's in the front room um but i think i'm like 50 something percent through i can't remember what it's called but it's the fourth book in the mindfuck series so yeah i want to finish that and then maybe i'll go straight on to the next book or maybe i won't i'm not too sure yet but yeah i definitely need to go make some lunch because i'm very hungry and i need to put my camera on charge for a bit because the battery's running out already <laughs> um so yeah that's my like little reading update for now i will chat to you guys in a little bit and yeah <laughs> random update um i'm just going for a walk with my mom um just because the weather's so nice so i brought some books with me because i might try to read while we walk i don't know um but i just thought i'd update you guys so i'm gonna like add this time back on to the reading on if that makes sense um so yeah i'll update you guys when i get back but maybe you'll see some b-roll from the walk <laughs> So we're just on a little walk, the most expensive walk ever because the shop here is really expensive um, but it's too windy so we're gonna walk home now and then I'll carry on reading. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, hi guys, so it's a lot later now and it is 20 past five to be exact. And I finished my fourth book of the readathon. Um, so I finished the fourth book in the Mindfuck series, Five Stars, just wow. Like these books are so intense and just so freaking good. Like the cliffhanger. I just need to take a break before I move on to the next book because it's just too intense. Like my heart was beating too fast. Like I just need to take a breather like because that shit is so intense. Um, but oh my god, seriously, this series, guys, is just so good. And it kind of bums me out because the author actually sadly passed away um, last year before she could see, like, her book series get so much hype. And it just makes me so sad. Um, but yeah, honestly, like, just... It's such a good series. I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth the hype. Like, the actual plot. Like, I literally don't care about the romance. I'm not really into the romance. I just love the actual plot and the main character. Like, it's just such a good, like, kind of thriller, in a sense. And, like, I just love it. Like, it's just amazing. Um, so, yes, I have finished four books so far, which I'm really, really happy with. Um, definitely plan to read the fifth book in the Mindfuck series. But, like I said, I think I need a bit of a break. So, I'm not sure if I'm just going to have a break and do some editing or if I'm going to start reading something else. I don't know. Um, I don't really want to start the romance book that I was saying I would start, maybe. Um, I'm just not really in the mood for it i don't want to read any more of house of sky and breath because like i said i want to be able to sit and read like a massive chunk of that and i just like i'm not going to do that right now i'm still waiting for em to finish reading her current read before we start body reading a good girl's guide to murder so i think i might just like do some editing on my laptop and then hopefully she's finished her read soon and i can start good girl's guide to murder because obviously i'm in the mood for a thriller or maybe i'll just start some of it and then she can catch up later because I'm a slow reader and she'll probably read more than me anyway so yeah I don't know I'll update you guys in a bit though but yeah I finished four books I'm really really happy about it just I'm so scared for this final book in this series like I'm literally terrified about what's gonna happen and I just oh it's making me so anxious like I genuinely feel so much anxiety and it's just so tense and yeah I just definitely need a break from it um so yeah I'm gonna think edit for a bit and then start reading again so yes i'll update you guys in a little bit <laughs> also excuse my appearance my eyes are watering because i was in the cold outside and my eyes are really sensitive so they started watering um and as you guys have seen there's a little rainbow as the sun was setting it was so cute right over the lake love that um and yeah and i've got like a little bit of a cold going on so yeah not great um but yes anyways like i said i will update you guys later when i have some more reading update okay hi guys so it's currently 25 past 9 and i haven't updated you guys for a while i've done no reading or whatsoever for hours now so i am gonna add it on to tomorrow so i am going out around midday tomorrow for the day so i might just get up early tomorrow read a ton in the morning before we go out and then read tomorrow evening and add it onto this vlog and figure out roughly a 24 hour mark because I know for sure there was one point where I didn't read for about two hours and then I haven't read for about three hours now. So that's roughly five hours I kind of owe myself um, if we're actually reading for a full 24 hours, like actually reading. I owe myself roughly five hours, I think. So yeah, anyway, it's like about half nine. Um, so me and Em are both about to start reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and I'm very, very excited. I have my PJs on. I'm so ready for bed. I am getting a little bit sleepy, but... I am going to try and read like at least I want to say 100 pages if I can manage it but to be honest I don't know like we'll see um I'm in the reading mood but I'm not and I'm sleepy and I just banged my knee very very hard on the cupboard and it really hurts so that's quite distracting um but yeah anyways I'm gonna be starting this I'm very very excited I don't know whether to tab it or not I'm not too sure whether I should or if I should just read it I don't know I really don't know. I'm not sure. I will make my mind up soon enough there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna read this book. I'm excited. I don't know if I will update you guys again um, before I sleep. I might do. If not, I will chat to you guys in the morning. But yeah, I'm just gonna start this, see how far I can get, and then get some sleep before I get up tomorrow morning. So yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I've wanted to read this book for so long. And I love this cover as well. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I've decided not to annotate this book because 
I just think there's not going to be like an awful lot to annotate and I just kind of want to have fun with it, make it easy. So yeah, I'm not going to annotate. And I'm putting my headphones on. I sound really weird to myself right now. Um, but I got these headphones on because I want to block out like all the noise because my family are watching TV. So I can't concentrate if I can hear noise. <laughs> so I'm going to put my reading playlist on, which I have. Um, people always ask me about it. So I just have like this random little playlist I've like got on YouTube. Um, it's got like lots of different like ASMR things and reading like ambiance and yeah it's long um, so yeah I'm gonna choose one of these to put on if the Wi-Fi allows it because the internet and Wi-Fi here is horrendous um, so we'll see if I can find one that I like that will keep me awake um, so yeah I'm gonna do that and then start reading this book and I'm excited bye Hi guys so it's the next day now and i am gonna update you guys on what i managed to read last night so i got to page 103 which is chapter 12 in a good girl's guide to murder and i fell asleep so i was very tired so it's currently like almost 12 p.m which will technically be the end of the readathon and i haven't done any reading this morning just because i've been getting ready i need to wash my hair and things um because we're going out in a few minutes sorry if you can hear the jet going over but yeah i'm getting out um with my family for the day i am gonna take this book with me on my kindle so i have like a lot of hours i need to add it on to the readathon because essentially me and em were talking about how like we watched this girl's video who did like a 24 hour readathon or something and she did like a timer on her phone of the actual hours reading so she actually read for 24 hours rather than just doing it over a 24 hour period which i think is a really good idea um so i know em has actually been using her timer and doing that i totally forgot to do that but i worked out yesterday that i owed myself around five hours and then i went to bed about half 12 and woke up about half eight today so i kind of owe myself like 10 hours um so i think what i'm gonna do is just like read whilst we're like on our way out and like maybe whilst we're out if we go to a coffee shop or anything and i will read like a bit this evening and then i will just call it a day like this evening so it's probably going to be less than 24 hours but i'm fine with that i'm already happy with what i've read so yeah i feel like that works out a bit better so i'm just going to vlog until like later this evening and We'll see if I manage to finish this book or not today. I don't know if I will because like I said, I'm going to be out all day and then I think we're having dinner tonight. Um, but I'm going to try and read as much as I can of this tonight or the book on my Kindle. So yes, anyways, yeah, I'm 100 pages into this one. Really been enjoying it so far. It's very, very gripping. It's like a teen version of Paula Hawkins. Like we're getting breadcrumbs of like the story and what happened. And it's also going in all these different directions and you don't know which will be the right one or if any of them will be. And I feel like that's a lot like what Paula Hawkins does. I'm being watched right now, which is great. So yes, um, I'm going to 
continue reading this i'm really enjoying it it's so easy because it has like mixed kind of um media in here like it has text messages and stuff it makes it easier to read as well um but yeah i'm definitely gonna read this while i'm out I'm really really enjoying it so yeah i will probably update you guys when i get home later today and i'll just give and i'll just show you guys some b-roll or something maybe whilst we're out i don't know it might get my weekly vlog it might get this vlog i don't know um but yes anyway that's all my reading updates and like my plans for the day so i will update you guys later From all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew we would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind mm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Been a while since I last updated you guys So basically the last time I updated you guys I said I was going out for the day and I would read And then I would spend the evening reading That didn't happen because we were out all day um, and then I spent the evening with my family so I decided to do some reading today so I kind of worked out that it was roughly like 15 hours of reading that I owed myself to have read for 24 hours straight however I just haven't been able to do that so I have read I think for about five hours today and I'm just gonna call it like a 24-hour readathon like the end of it there because like it's just gonna be silly for me to try and do it another time before I get home um, so I haven't read for a full 24 hours, which is what me and Emma had planned to do, but I just think I'm just going to call it here. I'm pleased with what I managed to read, so I'm just going to go through it all. So I finished five books in total, so these four and ebook as well, um, and I'm really, really happy with this. So I finished this poetry book, which was Flower Crowns and Fearsome Things by Amanda Lovelace, gave this four stars. I just really, really enjoyed this. This was such a good poetry book, and there were so many stunning poems in here as well. Like, I'm literally obsessed with some of these. The fact that it's inspired by Persephone, I just absolutely adored it loved it four stars i also read this graphic novel five stars such a fun and kind of philosophical and deep kind of graphic novel so on the surface it just seems fun and kind of silly but it really does have those like philosophical undertones and it's quite deep and important and i just loved it and resonated with so many things in here and this is just such a lovely little graphic novel i would highly recommend this a five out of five stars i also finished a manga which was she and her cat i gave this three stars this was just a fun kind of manga like nothing special it was just fun um so three stars kind of mundane um it's the best way to summarize it but i still enjoyed it so i gave it three stars I finished an ebook which was the fourth book in the mindfuck series i can't post straight of it because i think youtube won't let me monetize this video if i do that yeah i finished the ebook of that i think that was just over 100 pages and i really really enjoyed that five stars every single book in that series has been five stars and honestly i'm just obsessed um i have started the fifth book but i'm not going to finish it during this reading vlog because i just want to end this vlog here um i might finish it tonight so technically it would be within the 24 hours but I'm not including it. I've started that and I'm loving it so far. I'm just so tense, anxious, nervous, everything because I just, yeah, it's the last book and it's just intense. Um, but yeah, the fourth book I gave five stars. I think it was probably my favourite out of all of the books. So action packed, so tense, so gory, so like just amazing like honestly just so good highly recommend this series um so many trigger warnings so do not read this without going and looking at trigger warnings first um very gory as well so if you don't like gore don't read it but honestly absolutely love that book literally just i can't get over how amazing these books are like they're just so good 
um so yeah i read that really enjoyed that and then i finished a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson so i've given this four stars i feel like it is 3.75 slash four stars slash 4.5 like i'm very very conflicted about my rating i've given it four on goodreads um but i really really enjoyed this i did feel like at times it was a little bit slow i feel like the plot got a little bit stuck or it got a little bit like kind of repetitive but at the same time like the last like 150 pages were just like i couldn't put it down i actually went out for dinner with my family and i sat and read 100 pages of this book at dinner and ignored everyone which is really bad but i was just so hooked on this book and i just love that like when i was a teen i always used to take books everywhere with me and like read at dinner like everything we went out i was the person with the head in a book at party and yeah i haven't done that in so long and that's how much i enjoyed this book was that i couldn't put it down and i took it to dinner with me and i finished it and it was just so good i really really enjoyed this i did have my suspicions early on that the perpetrator was that person and i was right but i think it's just because i'm so suspicious of any character so as soon as there's a good character i'm like yeah okay you're gonna be bad so yeah i don't think it's necessarily that this is predictable and there were so many plot twists in here i didn't expect the plot twist at the end um and i just really really enjoyed this it was just such a good ya book definitely kept you guessing throughout um and i just never really knew where it was gonna go really i really, really like this like how it wrapped up and i do plan to start the second book um i really, really enjoyed this and i gave it four stars um so yes i finished five books in total i'm really really happy with it considering i stopped reading so many times and i didn't read for the full 24 hours i'm really really happy with that as well and this was like a kind of impromptu chaotic kind of reading vlog slash readathon generally um but i still had a lot of fun it was just a nice thing to do and i've just been in the reading mood and i'm very very happy that i read all these books especially this one because i've been meaning to read this for so long so i'm so happy that i finally read it yes i am very very tired as you can probably tell by my appearance and i'm so excited to get into bed and read a bit on my kindle and go to sleep um but yeah i just wanted to wrap up this vlog so I hope you guys did enjoy this video and this little readathon. I'm going to try and make a point of doing 24 hour readathons every single month because I just really, really enjoy them. I love filming these vlogs as well. Yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you made it this far, then leave a murder mystery esque style emoji in the comments for this book um let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books what your thoughts were or if you're planning to read any of these books now as well i would absolutely love to know so yeah like i said i am gonna go now because i'm very very tired and i want to get to bed i will have all of my social media linked in the description box down below along with the link to all of these books and my patreon where you can find extra content from me such as reading vlogs a buddy read behind the scenes photos a discord where we all chat lots of other things happen on there we do 24 hour readathons as well it's just a fun time i would love to have you guys join me there if you want to if not i hope you're safe and well i hope you're reading a lot of good books and i will see you in the next video bye